Hello everyone and welcome to this Python 4 Automation Testing Series and this is our 19th tutorial and in this tutorial we will learn the Python dictionary in detail so let's begin. In Python a dictionary is a collection collection of key value pair. So what this means this means is that there will be a one key which is mapped with the value and these dictionaries are basically unordered unordered and they are mutable mutable means that we can change them okay and when we talk about the keys in dictionary they must be unique and immutable such as strings numbers or tuples whereas values of any data type can be duplicated okay so now uh, let's see how we can create a dictionary so let's go to the pycharm here and let me go here and create a new Python file. I'm naming it as dictionary tutorial. And now in order to create a dictionary, so simply I will say dictionary is equals to, so that needs to be in the curly braces, curly braces. And here we need to provide a key and the value. Okay. So, my first key can be my name. So this is a key and now it should have some value. I will say testing funder. So th this is a simple dictionary we have created over here. And when we talk about the key itself, we can also have a multiple values against that particular key. Okay. So let me remove this one from here. And let's create a proper example here. So I will say like student underscore info and let's create a student info here. Okay. And we need a key where we need a name of a student and name of student is testing. Okay. And then we need to provide a comma. Now we need to provide a second key and the value. Okay. So here I will say age of this student. So age colon. And now the age is, you know, an integer value. So we just need to provide a value over here. Now the third, let's take a grade of a student. So grade colon and here. I will provide a grade and now when we talk about the key and pair just as I said we can create we can have a multiple values against a key so for example I will say subjects and now I will provide more than one value against these subjects and in order to provide them more than one values I will be using this large brackets over here okay I will say um, Python then I will say automation testing and then I will give a comma and I will give another value. I will say semi. Okay, so that's how we can create a dictionary with the key. The first thing is the key on the left and the value. And now let's print this and see what happens. So simply I will pass this student underscore info here and let's run this one. So you will see that the complete dictionary has been printed. Now in order to check either it's really a dictionary or not, simply what we need to do is that we need to put this inside a type function. Okay. So it will give us a type of this particular data. Now you see that this is a dictionary over here. Okay, now in order to access the dictionary elements, you, you see that we have this key, this value, this key, this value. In order to access the values from this particular dictionary, we can either use a large brackets or we have a get method as well. So, so for example, let me copy this complete line of code from here and paste it here and remove this one from here. Okay. So now it's inside this print, if I say 
student info then i need to use a large brackets and for example i need a name from this one so simply i will say i need a name and that name used to be in quotes okay and if i run this one you will see that we are getting a value of this particular key here and similarly we can use a get method over here and let me copy this one and paste it here and what i'll do is that simply remove this one so dot you will see that we have a get get method and inside get what we need to get right so let's go with age this time and if i run this one you will see that we will get a value which is 21 and if the key doesn't exist then what happens so for example if i go here and if i run this one so you will see that we are getting a key error because this key does not exist in this particular dictionary okay what if if we are using a get and the key is not present over there then what happens so basically it will give us a none so that's the difference of using a get method and simply getting a value okay and now if we want to modify a value okay so we can also do that simply i will say student underscore info and for example i want to modify the age then i will say age is equals to 25 and if now i print this school underscore info you will see that we have a updated age over here which is 25 now okay previously it is 21 now it's 25 here okay and when we talk about removing the elements we can also remove the elements from the dictionary and again we have different methods like pop delete pop item and clear so what i will do is that i will pop this so pop will basically remove the key value pair associated with a given key and it returns the value so i say age is equals to student underscore info dot then you see that we have this pop and i want to pop the age from this one and now i will print age and then i will print here the complete dictionary over here so let me copy this one and paste it here now let's run this one so here you will see that the age is no more in this particular dictionary because we have popped out right and the pop age is 25 and here you see that there is no key there is no value of the age okay we can also use the delete which removes the key value pair as well so what i'll say now this time let's delete the grade from here so delete students underscore info and i need to read the grade from here and now if i print this one so you will see that the grade is being removed from this particular dictionary as well okay and then we have pop item and clear so what clear will do is that clear will remove all the key value pairs leaving the dictionary empty so let me show you simply what i'll do is that student underscore info dot clear okay and now if i print this one you will see that it would be an empty dictionary over here okay so let me uh, summarize today's tutorial so basically we learned that a python dictionary 
is a collection of key value pair. The dictionary in Python are unordered. They are mutable. Mutable means that we can change the dictionary values and keys. Okay. So in this particular example, we created our dictionary and in dictionary, this particular key has a multiple values and then we check the type of this particular data. Then we access the elements, then we remove the elements. So we have seen different methods throughout this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial.